Hi, I'm John Reardon. I've been working with leaders and teams for over 20 years to help you expand your capacity to accomplish your mission. You know, challenging conversations are, funny enough, challenging. There's a reason for this. Conflict is one of the most common fears that people face when it comes to both personal relationships as well as professional relationships. In this clip, I want to offer just a few critical strategies that will help you step up to the challenge and successfully navigate difficult conversations. I hope you find this useful. All teams, no matter what their context, face common sources of misunderstanding and miscommunication. Confusion over roles and responsibilities, accountability or lack thereof, personality clashes. There's a long list of possibilities. There's a few fundamental strategies for preventing misunderstandings from turning into conflict that are important for every team. Build relationships early. That will help you have trust to sustain through the misunderstanding. Ask for feedback and check your understanding. Make sure you're on track. And address issues early. Do not let that little misunderstanding fester and grow into full-blown conflict. When it comes to navigating a challenging conversation, there's a few core principles to keep in mind and to put into practice. First, use dialogue, not debate. You don't get a trophy for proving that your colleague is wrong. Instead, seek to understand someone else's perspective and then come to an agreement. Second, assume good intent. They may have done something wrong, but chances are they didn't wake up this morning wondering how to ruin your day. And third, practice regular feedback, both positive and constructive. Don't let feedback be something that only happens when there's a problem. For virtual teams, there's an increased risk of simple misunderstandings or miscommunication escalating into greater degrees of conflict. And the challenges of addressing these issues early are even greater due to the factors in a virtual team context. Not only do virtual teams face the same typical sources of conflict as any team, but they also face several unique challenges. The lack of interpersonal relationships can leave room for mistrust. Absence of body language and tone of voice can lead to misunderstandings. And the clumsiness of handling sensitive topics. Too often we try to do that by email. And this can tempt team members into dismissing issues and letting them lie, and then they fester into something more significant. So a few specific strategies for virtual teams when it comes to preventing conflict and navigating challenging conversations. First, build virtual relationships. Invest the time and use the tools that you have to establish interpersonal relationships and communication right from the start. You've got to dig your well before you're thirsty. Second, stay in touch. Establish regular one-on-one -on -one interactions and tag-ups. Don't just call when something's wrong. Third, use the tools and use them well. Use video whenever possible to address sensitive issues. Don't try to address something sensitive via email. Conversely, not everything has to be a Zoom call. You can get a lot of stuff done by email. Use the right tool for the right purpose. I hope you find these strategies useful. I can tell you from my own experience, this is something I have been working on and boy, I still need to keep working on it. With intentional practice, you can use these tools to strengthen your ability to turn what might have become a negative experience into a positive, productive interaction.